Hey, it's me, Pro Jared. Welcome back to Magic the Gathering Chandelier. I just got to this town where they were allowing me to trade white amulets for any blue card. And I was just spending some time looking at that. Um, and the cards I really wanted were stuff like the Avatar of Will, which is a 5-6 flying for 7 mana. But if your opponent doesn't have any cards in their hand, it only costs blue blue. That's really strong for 5-6 mana. Uh, I thought about getting that because it's also from Prophecy which I played Prophecy a lot. If I got that out and, and basically had a deck that forced discard out of the opponent's hand using black, like sup, simple stuff like Burglar Rats or Mine Rot or whatever, just to destroy their hand and then be able to play this for cheap, it'd have been awesome. But it costs three white amulets. So I was just looking at other ones. I was also considered the Baleful Strix, which is a classic one. It's a 1-1 flying death touch for blue and black. And when it enters the battlefield, it'll draw a card also cost three but the one i found that i actually do like that would would play uh was the cloud blazer from kaladesh and i really like the kaladesh set in the limited format it kind of fucked standard but unlimited it was great uh it's a 2-2 flyer for three white and a blue enters the battlefield gain two life and draw two cards hell yeah it also works with uh, my other white card that i've got in there where I can bring something with power two or less back to the battlefield. So if it dies, I can use him to just bring it on back, get two more life, and draw two more cards. So I'll bring the Cloud Blazer in. And it's a uh, another like kind of something to play with late mana. Might ditch. Probably, since I got the Arrest in there, maybe one Paralyzing Grasp. Or, what don't I really need? The Tinder Herder. Yeah, I don't need one drop. There we go. Uh, I was still trying to get down to Crackall so I can get an amulet. I also got the Ring of Dominion. We'll slow all the wizards from taking over the world. Hi, guys. Hi, Warlock. Do you want my arrest for Nefra Nefarox, Overlord of Grixis? 5-5 five, five, flying with Exalted, and whenever he attacks alone, defending player sacrifices a creature. Jesus! I want this. What is this monstrosity? That is horrifying. Hate that! Okay, let's look at my opening hand. I got an Island of Swamp and the Demir Guildgates. So that's three. Allow me to play. Uh, I can go Stealer of Secrets, Dross Golem. I might be short by one. I could play most of the hand. Oh, and we got murder. All right, looking better. Ideally, I get Stealer of Secrets out and be able to attack in with some, uh, with a hit or two to get some extra card draw. Might murder something like that Hypnotic Spectre. Uh, okay, so if you hit me, it's at random. Yeah, it's at random. Yep, would rather murder that. Get out of here. Don't want to deal with that. Drain my life for two? Uh, that damn dude, you got me. Not all my life. Um, I'm going to play the City Dealer of Secrets first. Because I consider all the other creatures in my hand a little more valuable. And if he's got... Removal, I'd rather he hit that first. Oh, I can go the order of white clay and start getting them back. Yeah. I haven't gotten to use him yet. Let's try it. There's another hypnotic specter. I got the cloud blazer. Okay, so... You can attack him first. That's fine. When it untaps, I'll be able to get the... What's fight fight out? Let's play that cloud blazer. Hell yeah, draw two cards, I got some life. Uh, I can play the Creeping Tar Pit now. If he attacks with Hypnotic Spectre, which he didn't, wiener. The Dread Warlock, sure. Oh, I need to... Damn, I just realized I have to pay, I forgot how to pay the mana to do him, oh well. Um, let's see.
I'm going to offer him up. Say, will you trade out for this? He does. Great, because I know I can get him back. And I can play my flying first striker and go divination, draw some more cards. Just tap my lands, damn it. Perfect. Duty bound dead. A 0 2 with exalted. And it can regenerate. Merc dwellers. Okay, I get it. So we got some more exalted bullshit going on over there. Which I think means we go. A couple options. Okay, we'll attack. Goes for the double block. I mean, you're not you're not gonna kill it. Take that. I can then activate you. Go white, white, and a blue. Return Cloud Blazer back. Oh, it's mana cost three less, not power three less. I'm dumb. That's fine. Still get that, dude. Uh, then cast Pillory of the Sleepless. Uh, probably this guy, because he's going to be blocked by black creatures. And my current plan is just to fly over his regenerators. Taunus is one. Target creature power two or less can't be blocked this turn. Shit. So you can activate that in the Merc Dwellers. The Merc Dwellers attacks, and when Merc Dwellers aren't blocked, they get plus two, plus oh. Plus Exalted, so it's actually hitting for five. Damn, okay. What's the plan now, Jared? I'm looking at taking another five damage next turn. It's basically, how fast can I out damage him? All right, so I think I will attack with everybody. Oh, hell yeah. The Steeler's Secrets got through, which allows me to draw a card. I actually got the Paralyzing Grasp. Okay, that works for me. Other plan was to play Ashling and play Stronghold Zeppelin. Pass back, he'll probably attack me for five again. I go down to one. My turn, I attack with everything, even activate the Creeping Tar Pit and attack in for an extra three just to be sure. But getting this and this making it so you can't attack anymore, also good. Uh, we'll probably still go with the Flyer though. Okay. Okay. Prowler's Helm. Equipped creature can't be blocked, except by walls. Doesn't help him right now, since uh, I'm about to murder you. All right, so you, you have one blocker on the ground. It's at least five in the air. If I activate Creeping Tar Pit, you're dead. So... And your hand's empty. Yeah, I got you. Become elemental. Boop, surprise. I'm a creature now. Uh, combat. Everybody. Everybody. Do something. Hell yeah. Oh, woo, I also get the Hellfire? Destroy all non-black creatures. Hellfire deals X plus three damage to you where X is the number of creature that died that way? That's kind of scary. Live fast. I also need to get Die Young if I want to live the dream. Uh, I might just take the rare cards though because this is a fucking strong card. In money. <gasps> and I get a Dark Ritual? Yay! I got a fine white amulet. Should I bring the big, big boy in? He's a big flyer. I don't know about Hellfire. It's worth 300 gold? It's that triple black cost. If I had like a pure black deck, maybe. 
Sabrina Nef 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 Nefarix. Let's talk them out for like the, the golem, maybe. The golem's kind of dumb. Oh, he doesn't fear. I guess I like him more than the shapeshifter. Or, uh... I actually think I take out the Lord of White Clay. He's kind of clunky. But they swap more into my blue black self. I think I'm, I'm more I'm a Demir player at heart, I think. For the longest time I was convinced I was much more of a blue white player. But I think blue black's more in my real house. Alright, let's beat this nerd up. I actually really like this opening hand. Four lands, all the colors, plus a divination. There's that regenerator boy. Font of return? It's a two man enchantment and can pay four to sacrifice it. Return up to three creature cards from his graveyard to his hand. All right, so that just kind of chills there until he needs to. Uh... Get creatures back, I guess. How much is your regeneration? Four, okay. Goes Dark Ritual, Murder. Per usual, I'd rather that happen now than when I play something I like. Ooh, a Frozen Shade. Oh, that's awesome art for the Frozen Shade. Uh, if I go up to five mana, I can play... Oh, if I play another Swamp, I can play the Ashling. I want the Ashling. So you pop yourself for one black? Yeah. And you currently have three swamps, which means you can only pump her up to a 3-4 right now, unless you go... Unless she plays Dark Ritual. Because otherwise these can't regenerate. I think it's worth attacking in. Sick. I'm gonna play the Arcane Sanctum. That gets me another white mana to play the Sierra Angel next turn. I'm not under threat of uh, dying right now, so I'm okay with that. Oh, same thing, you tapped out so you can't regenerate. And I get to make you sacrifice a creature. And what's great is when you make a player sacrifice a creature, they can't regenerate it. You just, you don't even know what you're doing anymore. Okay, well, take that. I attack for eight. Uh, oh, uh, I guess. Activate Smots of Return. Doesn't matter at this point because I'm just beating you down. Hell yeah. Nemesis of Reason? And the Hypnotic Spectre. Oh, these... What are these? So when we attacks, defending a player puts the top 10 cards of his or her library into your graveyard. That's kind of nuts. Protect a bubble. Chance your creature can't be blocked and has Shroud. Miri the Cursed. Flying first strike haste. And whenever deals combat damage to a creature, he gets a plus one, plus one counter. What the fuck? These are all amazing cards. Give me these. Holy crap. And another Dark Ritual. Hold on a second. What was all that? Okay. I need to just process for a second. All right, so it was a... Uh... uh, okay, okay. I do like Hypnotic Spectre, which... At this point, can I drop white altogether? If I drop white, I do lose out on like Sarah Angel and uh, Cloud Blazer. More importantly, I lose out on Arrest and Pillory of the Sleepless. So I don't know if I can just completely drop it. Uh, Miri the Curse? That's just so good. 
a four mana three two flying first strike with haste so it can attack right away and it has first strike so it deals combat damage to a creature first then gets a plus one plus one counter and then the defending creatures damage goes through so it actually helps her uh dross golem dumb miri the cursed good um what was that so you're five mana three seven <laughs> wow what <laughs> Uh, the mill 10 is strong because most opponents decks don't really have that many cards in it. Take out the, the shapeshifter, probably. Pestilence is always hilarious. What else do I have? Um, guess those were the, the main ones. Uh, I need more. I want more removal stuff. If I could get like. Oh, can I get fatal push? Defeat the whim dragon. I'll give you three blue amulets. Whim dragons are big. Am I ready for that? Is my deck better than I think it is right now? I don't know. I don't feel like it is. Okay, let's do this. Uh, damn, that land fixing looks great. I got a creature. I got a murder. I love it. All right, start off with that sanctum. That's three colors. Then we can go. I don't really need to play that right away. I'd rather put out a tap land first. Dread Skeletons, your Dom. Uh, we'll start bringing out the Steeler's Secrets. Maybe get some card draw. Bad Moon, black creatures get plus one, plus one. Hmm, sure does. Uh, you've got the one mana to regenerate it. Damn, that sucks up. Considered murdering it. Uh, a fourth mana doesn't change my hand, so I'm actually fit, safe to play the Demir Guildgate. And, um... Guess let's play him. Yep, that's all I can do. Hell yeah! Came in with the attack. Now I can paralyze it. Shut that regenerating bullshit down. Bog Wraith, a 3-3 Swamp Walk. Can't be blocked as long as I control Swamp. Which I do right now. Or I could just take it. If I just take it, I'll just take it! Now it belongs to me! You have swamps! You cannot block him! And I'll get in for 3 damage, plus draw a card. Yeah! <laughs> what do you do? Mind burst? Gonna make me discard cards? One? Uh, I'll get rid of the griffin. He's dumb. Follow Nascari. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, he's tapped out again, so he can't block. Or can't regenerate, I should say. Um, yeah, I guess just... You can't block this. Take this. Oh. That's right. It's in fact, right? So once he gets 10 poison counters, he loses the game. I just give him four. So right now in three swings, it's game over. Cloud Blazer! Oh, look at this different shapeshifter art. That's weird. You're attacking? I'll take it. I want to kill you with poison counters! New goal! That's all I want. Oh, with Miri the Curse is super good too. <gasps> plus, it's Bad Moon's out. She so just get the plus one, plus one effect. So you come out as even bigger? Play it. 4 3 flying first strike haste. Boom. Getting in there. Ha! Now you're a 5 4 and you got more poison counters. I'm gonna kill you with poison. This is the best. El Hajaj, who cares? Drudge Skeletons, who cares? Oh, and there's. 
play them because you're spooky and get poisoned. <laughs> yeah, I've never done that. In all my history of playing magic, I've never killed anyone with poison counters. Sick. Deadly wanderings. As long as you control exactly one creature, it gets plus two plus zero, has death touch and lifelink for five mana. Not big on these cards. I guess I'd rather know where these are. Take the dungeon clue. Contains small blue creatures. I need to do some dungeons. That's what I need. We're gonna find some of them. That's fine. I'm good. Ooh, an island. Sarah's blessing. Creatures you control have vigilance. It's okay. Aspect of the Gorgon. Genetic creature gets plus one, plus three, and has death touch. Or a ghoul razor. Manage the battlefield, return a zombie card at random. Nah, no, I'd rather just get the Gravedigger. Defeat a Conjurer for two blue amulets. Um, I need to start finding some... I think it's dungeon time. Hey, you! Where's the dungeon? Oh, shit. Felhide and Petrifier. The two, three death touch Minotaur. It's actually not bad. Kind of worry about losing the Sarah Angel. Especially this opening hand. That's not good. Manalink. Or Mulligan. One island. F fuck. Mulligan. Oh, I got a divination in there, which helps. So I got a couple draw straps to maybe cast it so I can get back on track. Not looking good, though. Why didn't you attack? Really? Um... I'm still at 14, all he has is 1 1 out. I'm gonna cast Divination now. Goose didn't troll. Of course. Um, I can play the Grizzly Angler. It is a 2 3, stops the troll. Strip mine. What are you destroying? My planes! Fuck. Alright, that's smart. Oh. Wait, you made it so the troll can't be regenerated this turn? Damn. You brilliant son of a bitch. Well, I'm glad he stripped mine just the planes, not the Arcane Sanctum. It could have been worse. Do you, are you just doing that because you can't? Oh, nope. Are you, you're just doing land hate. He's just going to keep destroying my lands. Fuck. And just doing that for the sake of doing it. <gasps> How many Lancer cards in your deck? 109! Whatever. Here's a 3-7. I'll attack with the 2-3? Okay. The Dancing Scimitar, the 1-5 flyer. I like this art. I haven't seen that art before. Island. Um. Ooh. So right now the Uthden Troll can't regenerate because he's out of mana. So I could play the Triskelion and take away plus one plus one counters to kill it. Uh, I'll attack in with both and see what happens here. Goes double block onto the Angler. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put that damage on the troll. Just let you go away, and then I'll play the 4-4. Four four. What would the Actually the shapeshifter might be better. I can make that into a 5-2. Uh, for now, power 3, toughness 4, yeah. Does nothing. I don't trust you. I guess I'll lose 10 more cards. Got him. Demon block. Damn. That's some balls. The Death Bellow Raider. It's a 2 3. Attacks each turn if able, but can regenerate. As long as he got black mana, which he doesn't. What? Is this the dumbest? This might be the dumbest opponent. Uh, yeah, I'll keep you as a 3 4. 
I'm gonna go super aggressive here. Put you down to seven. Play the Triskelion, because who cares? Yeah, he has to attack. So I can just block with the skeleton, or Triskelion. We'll change the shapeshifter into a 5 2. Attack with everybody? And I'm pretty sure I got lethal here no matter what, because the Triskelion can also. Oh, it's not letting me select it. Uh oh, game. Please? No? Alright, just kidding. I was gonna say, I could just activate the Triskelion until he just kind of dies, but the game's kind of a glitch and just wouldn't let me select it. Ah, you know what happens. Destroy target creature or land. Response? Yeah. Take that. And that. And that. Alright. I got his deck down to 64. That's something. Murder. Hey, do you have a dungeon you can get me to? Contains small blue creatures. Life loss is carried over. Memory erosion permanently in effect. Is that the one where it's... You mill every time the opponent draws a card or something like that? Ooh, Dargan! Fine. Uh, white and a black. One more land. I go first. Risky keep of the day. Wee. Uh oh. I need to draw a land. Even a tapped land is fine. Fuck. Oh, there's there's the tap land. What's the hedge troll three three regenerator? Sorry, chill for a second. That's plus one plus one allows you control plans. He does, and the locks it on hammer gives enchanted creature plus three plus zero trample and lifelink. God damn. Um. Well, that's gonna be some shit. Guess we'll just paralyze him now while I can. This might get equipped. Or oh, he puts it on a thing that's paralyzed? You big dummy? Alright, sick. Still in it. So now I can just play the murderous red cap. Deal two damage to the timber wolves. Uh, please. Take out all your creatures. Birds of paradise. You only have three lands out. Six cards in your hand. So I feel like you got a lot of big expensive stuff. So murdering the birds of paradise just to slow down or remove his ability to cast stuff might be worth it. But I also have Murder, Arrest, and Corrupted Conscience. Just to take anything he plays. Let's just go the Sarah Angel. Okay, that poses a threat. I'm curious as to what you're going to play. Another Loxodon Hammer? Yeah, that's not even that exciting. Giant Growths, the Bird of Paradise? Um, that's fine. Have him come back and deal extra point of damage to the Tusk Guardian. Boop. I'll go Cloud Blazer. Gain some life. Oop, I misclicked. Went Divination. I want a Cloud Blazer. Fuck. Uh, well, now I'm just gonna murder him. Fuck it. Get out of here. Holy strength onto something that can't do anything. I'll attack in for five. 
play Cloud Blazer, and this should put me up in such a place I'm going to take him out next turn. Yeah, sure. It's a 10-5 lifelink. It would get you a lot of life if you didn't go to jail. Got him. Wormwood Tree Folk, Darts, Duskdale Worm. Uh, Dungeon Clue! East of Andor's Hold for Balance Channel and Contract from Below. And I got the Ivory Tower. Andor's Hold, huh? Where is that? That Andor's Hall, but Andor's Hold? I don't know. Oh, that's when I got mana tapped. Well, I could start hitting that, Wayne. Maybe take him out to defend it. That might be the play. Yeah, I'm actually feeling much better about where my deck is going. I'm still kind of leaning towards, once I get enough of it, maybe white just comes out altogether and I just kind of go blue-black. Uh, basically mid-range, not full control. Definitely not aggro. Um, but losing Arrest and Pillar of the Sleepless is just too rough for me. If I get uh, more removal spells like Murder in black, I'll probably end up going in that direction. But for now, I kind of like having the white in there. And I like blazing it with the Cloud Blazer. Okay, that's going to do it for me. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching. See you next time.